Hey yo, it's Brain Lord, and welcome back to Rome Total War as the Skippy. I yeah. And uh, if you remember last time, we started the war with Pontus, and uh, we took out a settlement. We took out Pergamum in a siege attack, and uh, we bribed Ankara, and we're sieging a few of their settlements. So you know, it's pretty much game over for them. Yeah, they're down, they're done. But uh, you know, they're all towns, so it's not really that great. And uh, we also got the plague over in Numidia that stopped our assault. But we have a new commander that's going to come and help that, I believe. As you see over here, Halicarnosis, Sardis, and uh, soon to be Nicomedia under siege. And we should be able to take those pretty easily. As they don't have much garrison, they don't have much support coming over. Those ships are going over to blockade uh, their, their um, Sinope over there. Uh, they pretty much, they haven't really done much with Asia Minor. They had... Uh, Pergam basically, Pergamum and uh, Sinope are their best settlements. And uh, let's move the spies first so that we can actually see what's in the cities. And uh, they got another army over here. Cappadocian Cav are very heavy cavalry. Uh, we'll probably fight them soon. And we'll see those. Bronze Shields, Eastern Infantry. Uh, General, Pontic, Light Cav. Uh, they've killed the population in this settlement also, as we saw. And we move over here. Sinope is a large city, so uh, they're letting Sinope grow, I guess. <clears throat> so that's all good. And I'll uh, we'll move our assassin over here. We have an 11% chance to take this guy out, so uh, not the greatest. Where's our good assassin? Uh, I don't know. We'll just move this guy up. And move these two over. 22%? Maybe. How about this guy? This guy has five subterfuge. 67%. We have, we have to try that. <laughs> Why can't I ever have good luck? Why? Why? I mean, seriously, 67% and you die? Oh. oh. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to move our diplomat over to Armenia. I don't think we've ever talked with Armenia. We've talked with Parthia, it looks like. But Armenia is kind of shrouded. It's one of the few nations we haven't talked with. I don't think we've talked with Germany really either. But uh, basically everybody else we've talked with, so we know about most of the most of the known world. As you can see, Sturtis still has the plague. We're going to wait for that to absolve itself. And uh, we should be able to get in there. Uh, things are looking good over in Carthage. We'll team up. We've got some units building in Carthage in Thapsus. And once we get those units together, we'll go send them down. And we'll finish off the Carthaginians. Because uh, I want to keep him away from the plague zone. Don't want him to catch the plague. Because our previous commander, Asinius, did die to the plague. So that was unfortunate. And uh, we're going to end the turn here. As you can see, uh, Pontus gave up Pelicarnosis, so we're going to occupy that. We don't want to exterminate the small towns. Uh, the Senate wants us to blockade Larissa. We're no longer worried about the Macedonians whatsoever. We're not concerned ourselves with the Macedonians at all. It's uh, basically Pontus and Numidia. We're we're going after the desert factions now. And uh, we captured a wonder, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which is a pretty good wonder. I mean, it gives a 20%... Uh, reduction in construction times for buildings of five turns or over, which uh, doesn't sound that great, but it actually speeds up the end game construction of a lot of buildings. Uh, for example, a five turn building only takes four, you know, a six turn only takes five. Um, I don't think maybe nine turns take seven. I'm not sure about that. Though. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it's probably it's close. Archimedes has invented his famous screw. Um, yeah, that's important, I guess. Uh, I guess Archimedes is still in Syracuse. We we control Archimedes, I suppose, because he lives in Syracuse. Corinth will build that. Over in Thapsus, we can go ahead and build it. Mm. We'll build, no, we'll build an arena. That would be more helpful. We need some more happiness and stuff over here. Sort of can go ahead and build an arena. It looks like the plague has absolved for now, uh, although it has before, and if you recall, it came back, so we'll wait on that. We'll disband some of the units here. And we'll make some more garrison. Uh, we'll wait a couple. We'll wait a turn or two, and we'll see if the plague comes back. But if it doesn't, then we can possibly move out or something. I'm not sure. Uh, nothing really that interesting. The Roman diplom diplomacy doesn't matter because, of course, uh, they always go to war if one of the factions is at war. Pantheon's almost complete in Carthage. We'll pull out the advanced troops here and move this army south. This is a pretty good army. Pretty good army, and uh, we got lots of auxiliary troops being trained here. One more unit of cavalry. Next turn, we'll link them up there. 
south of Thapsus. And uh, we'll go uh, try to take down the last of the Carthaginians. And uh, it'll be us that'll take down the Carthaginians as it was supposed to be. Because this could be how supposed to kill Carthaginians. And uh, yeah, so that'll be nice. And we'll build some auxilia in Carthage for garrison. And Syracuse is building some units. That's good. We want to keep Syracuse pretty much constructing units uh, for the rest of the game. Because we might as well have advanced units come out of Syracuse all the time. So we'll queue up some more advanced units there. Like I said, Praetorian cohorts and the like. Uh, Praetorian cohorts being our best unit currently. Because uh, we don't have access to Praetorian cavalry. Or uh, urban cohorts. Yet. And uh, Lucius Scipio here, he can probably move out. We'll see how much happiness we need. It's at 15%. Holy cow. These settlements are not happy. They're quite far away from our capital of Masana, so that's understandable. Uh, we, I may think about moving our capital soon. Uh, we'll see, like when we take a bigger settlement over to the east, if it really matters. And uh, actually, we're going to take an auxilia from Rhodes and uh, bring it over to Garrison Halicarnassus, because we don't really need to, you know, wish the legionnaires... Have the legionnaires travel with Lucius, and uh, Lucius can move out. And we actually have quite a bit of agents here that we can move out as well. That we're with the army that I forgot to move. That's fine. Move the spies out. As you can see, Pontus does have a decent amount of men coming over. If they combine those armies, uh, they'll they'll do something. I mean, it'll be an interesting battle. It'll be your first really major battle with Pontus. And uh, Archer Axilla, moving good. We'll move Cornelius Scarvor. Over to besiege Nicomedia. We'll try to take down this boat. I did not want to go around the boat. And uh, we'll take down the boat. And then move eastward. Like I've said before, we're going to go blockade Sinope here. And uh, there's that army with some advanced troops. Uh, we got an assassin here. Uh, let's try to hit the blacksmith. Why not? And we'll have him hit the... Have him move over here so we don't have to keep moving our guys out of their own ways. And uh, try to sabotage the... Okay, we failed the stables, but we got the blacksmith. So that'll hurt their economy a little bit. Always good. And... Near a spot to get a little closer. And, okay, we can see some of the buildings now. Exactly what we need. And... Ooh, not very good percentage. Oh, let's try to take down the army barracks, though, because we don't want them to train bronze shields. And, uh... Yeah. And we'll use the other guy to try as well. And of course he died. Of course. Of course he did. I mean, why not? I'm just so good at losing assassins, apparently. Uh, they still have their faction leader in Sardis, which uh, could present a problem, possibly. We'll have to see, though. Uh, Eastern heavy generals are usually pretty good. Uh, Pontus being a pretty balanced general, I'd say. Uh, they're moving out quite a bit of force here. We got two l pretty large armies coming over to try to counter us. Probably going to have some big fights with them. But that's fine. We can handle them. Uh, I believe. Because they don't. They, have, they still haven't, you know, absolved us as a huge threat yet. Because, you know, we they haven't, they haven't sent any of their generals out to fight us. As soon as they start sending out generals, that means the computer recognizes that we are a threat. Anyway, we're going to save it and end the turn. Diplomat moving northward. Brudii trying to negotiate? Don't know what they're trying to negotiate at all. But that's fine. And Pontus is going to try to break the siege with this very small but very experienced army. Holy cow. Uh, we got some very experienced troops here. Phalanx pikemen with heavy experience. Look at those stats. Uh, Scythe chariots. Lots of chariot archers. And uh, it's a pretty advanced small little force. And of course we got Spartacus there, who's not bad. Uh, but I think we can handle this. We got legionnaires, and we got a plenty of mercenaries. We got a plenty of range support, so I think we'll be fine. And I'm gonna take a drink. So burp, 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 burp. Ah, courage may be taught as a child is taught to speak, although not in the same way, of course. That's not what he's saying. But uh, he's saying it can be taught. He's not. He's not saying like you have to spell it out for him. I don't. Yeah, Yeah, we don't really need a speech. Uh, Placus Plac Plac Pertinax, I believe this is this guy's name. And uh, we got quite a bit of infantry here, so that's fine. We got quite a bit of range support. Our one weakness is cavalry deficiency. 
but we counter that with the massive amount of range units that we do have, and we do have some hoplites to counter enemy cavalry as well. So I'm not too worried on that front. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Move Placus back here, and move our Roman Cav over here on the right flank. Looks good. And start the battle. As you can see, these Phalanx Pikemen here are pretty powerful. They're a pretty even match for our early Legionary Cohorts. Uh, these ones are heavily upgraded and will probably be a match for our Legionary Cohorts, so we'll have to be very careful of them. These are Pontic uh, Chariot Archers, which are very powerful. If you watched my uh, Pontus LP, you will have seen the raw power of Chariot Archers and other such units as Pontus. Uh, actually, I'm going to move these hoplite units backwards, and we're going to try to counter the incoming general, because uh, we don't really need these hoplites in the front line, but uh, we can if we can trade, if we can pin the enemy general coming in, if we can pin their faction leader, that'll be very, very beneficial. So, we're going to try to do that. And they're very sexy legionary cohorts. Very sexy with their Lorica Segmenticus and other such units. Oh, it's just... Oh, there's such units. Yes. Yes, they're wearing units. They're wearing units. Good job, Braden Lord. You win the Star of Academia today. Uh, speaking of Academia, we just got... I'm pretty much done with my second week of classes. We just got two more to go through. One today and one tomorrow morning. And I'll be done with my second week. Going pretty well. Uh, more credits than I've had before, but... Uh, you know, that's fine. And... Uh, Relatively easy classes, I should say, or joke classes. Like, I have a bunch of English stuff that I have to get through this year, but and it's all kind of a joke. Uh, but after that, I'll be more into mathematics and computer science classes, which I'll enjoy. And uh, we'll be firing out these chariots here. We should be able to pick off a few of them. They are hitting our uh, <clears throat> guys pretty hard with the stuff, and uh, we're getting some friendly fire, but that's okay. Uh, nice peel of throw there. And they're going to charge in with their weaker units first. That is actually a pretty good idea. And uh, we'll see if they charge in with their general. If they do, then we'll have to counter that. Doesn't look like they are. And it looks like they're going to charge in with their scythe chariots right into their line. We got javelins, so those will hurt the scythe chariots quite a bit. There we go. You can see the scythe chariots going down. And uh, Phalanx Pikemen here, we're going to have to surround and pound. Uh, we'll hold them in the front with a unit of Legionary Cohort, who should be able to hold pretty well. Yeah, they're not taking too many casualties from them. And uh, we'll get our hot bites to engage the enemy general coming in. Like I said, I would. And uh, we'll move our guys around here. And we'll hit these uh, Phalanx Pikemen where the sun don't shine. And I'll get our general over here. And get our legionary cohorts over here to help as well. And get one. Oh, I guess those guys just routed? I don't understand. Uh, anyway. We need to get in the back of these Phalanx Pikemen, like I said, because we're starting to lose. Holy... Oh, Hoplites. Apparently the Hoplites missed them. The Hoplites missed... You missed. You missed. Good job. Good job. Got their flanks exposed. And uh, now the enemy faction leader is going to wreak havoc with our missile troops. Not good at all. Hopefully they can distract them long enough for our Phalanx to get there. Uh, Placus here needs to stop fighting Hillmen, who are our spearmen. That will do some good damage against us. Uh, we need to get our guys back here as well. We're starting to lose a whole early legionary cohort route. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, this isn't looking good all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can hold on, guys. Come on. It's not that hard. There we go. Should be able to take out these bronze shields pretty easily. Come on. Or right, They're not even bronze shields. They're phalanx. They're not even bronze shields. They're not even bronze shields. And our... Oh, good art. Our mercenary hoplites routed. Now Placus is probably going to die, and then I'm probably just going to lose. All oh, right, that'll be that'll be perfect. Uh, mercenary hoplites over here need to hold the line. These guys have almost cleaned up uh, these Phalanx pikemen. That first unit did pretty good, I would say, though. Held the line pretty well. This Eastern, the early legionaries in the back routed though, which was really silly. Uh, our flanking forces, and we can kill their general here, hopefully. Uh, we got some units coming back from routing. If we can get our general to crush them in the back, we can take it on their faction there. Uh, definitely more bloody than I expected this battle to be. Uh, so I guess you can never underestimate 
the power of Pontus, especially with heart -le heavy upgrades from the war with Egypt. Uh, so this may be harder than I thought. We'll see, though. And if we can take down their faction leader, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it would be kind of a little nice recompense. It looks like we did pull this out, though. We lost a lot of infantry, however. And there we go. We killed the enemy kin. And, well, I guess we'll just end it. We don't really need to chase them down. No real need. Plus, our men are kind of in disarray, so... I want them to gather their wits about them. If a man does not know what port he's saying, no wind is favorable. Yeah. I agree. And, uh... Looks like they're going to attack us with two bronze shields and a hillman. As well. And the remnants of that army that we beat, barely. Before... Well, I guess not really barely. We have quite a few men that came back alive. Or came back from routing. So our army's, our army's injured, but it's not, you know, crippled or anything. Uh, we should, probably should be able to win this battle pretty easily. Two bronze shields. Makes me wonder why they didn't use the bronze shields in the battle before. Otherwise, we probably would have lost if they had bronze shields in there. Uh, that could have been bad. But uh, anyway, we should be able to take these guys out. Don't need a speech because uh, I believe this is going to be an easier battle than last time. Because we can outflank them and stuff. So not too worried. Turn fire at will on, on our melee infantry. Oh, on our legionnaires, I should say. Because not all of our melee infantry has uh, missiles. So we're going to put all these guys behind the line. As you can see, a lot of our guys have injuries. Uh, luckily, our Christian archers are doing pretty good. And our Christian archers are probably our best. Forgot to move these archers in here. We'll just reform our archer line real quick. And uh, get our general behind here. Our cavalry got wrecked and wrecked up too so we don't really have much cavalry left and uh, we'll move down move over here and our archers should be able to do some good work against them as they try to move up the hill so I'm not too worried about this really at all and uh, their hillmen uh, don't have much defensive ability but their phalanx their uh, phalanx troops do and I forgot to move our Roman cavalry that I was talking about so I'll move them back over here by the line and yeah we should be able to take out these bronze shields with no problem at all, guys. Yeah. Bronze shields going down. Bronze shields going down. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot your arrows, kill them. Shoot your arrows, kill them. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm crazy. My roommate think, roommates think I'm crazy, but that's fine. Think whatever you want, because I am crazy. We are killing a few bronze shields here as well as a lot of hillmen, so that's good. Uh, they're charging in, and let me take a drink. It is warm today, so I'm going to need more drinks. Ah, yummy. And uh, they're down to about half health here, and we're getting some peel of shower in. Oh, look at that damage. Look at that damage! Look at that damage! As H.G. Bailey says. And... Uh, now we're going to be able to hit these bronze shields with all of our military force. Okay, so you can stop throwing... Oh, they are throwing people at the bronze shields. I was like, you can stop throwing them at the hillmen, but they were throwing them at the bronze shields. Uh, so, good. Looks like the Peltish are going buck nuts on them. So that's good. And uh, we're going to maneuver some of our legionaries to counter the incoming threat. Get our mercenaries over here. And we'll get our good chunk of, big chunks of legionaries to move out of the way. That guy is getting nailed with friendly fire. Holy cow. Uh, unfortunately. And this guy's maneuvering around a little weirdly. We'll have to see what we can do about that. They're already shaken. Concerned over exposed flanks. I don't know why the second unit's not coming in. Uh, we'll get Warcry with their Thracians. And uh, we'll kind of get behind this unit here and take him down. And if he turns around like he just did, we can swing in here with our big unit of early legionaries left. And uh, there we go. Unit routed. Let's not chase him now. Uh, if we can take out the other unit, it won't really matter. Pause it real quick, because I don't want to waste time and lose my men. Uh, we'll reorder here, and move these guys over there. Actually, we can, might as well have our mercenary hoplites go straight buck nuts into them. I don't know if these guys uh, station where they are. Make everybody run, and just hope that we can go. Come on, Thracian mercenaries. There we go. They snuck in. Oh, not really, actually. Uh, get, our, get our legionaries back here and help them out, because they... Thracian mercenaries are going to get slaughtered by any kind of phalanx unit. So, they're not very helpful, but they're more of a... They're kind of distracting them, so I guess that works. There we go! Okay, we took them down, so very nice. And uh, lots of bronze shield death here. Zoom in here a little bit. See the carnage? 
See the bloodshed? See the beauty? Of the crunch? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to rotate this line here, and then we're going to reform our infantry and have our cavalry chase down the bronze shields. I think that's how we're going to work it here. That's how I'm working it, working it. Doesn't really work. And uh, move our infantry right here. Still got quite a bit of it, so I'm not too worried. And uh, they don't have much phalanx troops left anyway. They have a lot of injured units, basically, so not too worried. They have two chariots, which is very interesting. And uh, they have two chariot archers. Or shooting our Rodian Slingers. And actually killing them, so, yeah. Oh my gosh, they killed another one. They killed... Oh, they're like perfect aims, holy cow. That's not fair. Anyway, we're gonna shred these guys with our missiles. We have so much missile advantage over them right now. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And, uh, just kind of watching them. We should be able to take them out pretty easily. If they try to run into our lines, they should get torn up here. See these Pontic Heavy Cav getting torn up by our missiles. And uh, Chariot's going through our men here. We, even though they are... Yeah, we took them down. Lost a few of our men, but that's okay. That's okay. It's worth it. Just take down a Chariot like that. And Eastern Infantry charging in. Let's counter charge. So I'm not sure what their agenda is. So just slam into them with some legionary cohorts. Take them down pretty easily in there. Uh, and, albeit taking friendly fire in the process. Uh, that's one reason I don't like Slingers, is that they cause a lot of friendly fire. And uh, there we go, victory. So, uh, very nice. And we can try to run down some of these guys with our men. Uh, I guess I did forget to run down those brown shields, didn't I? Oh, well. Uh, I guess I was just a little too preoccupied, but that's okay. And try to hunt down some of these Pontic Heavy Cav. Very nice. Take down a unit of Pontic Heavy Cav, which are very annoying for Romans to fight, because we don't really have very good Jab Cav. And clear victory, and we should be able to take the city after this turn, I would imagine, I would hope. Because, uh, there was no garrison army in this battle, so. Yep, there we go. Sardis should be ours if they stop moving around. There we go. Occupy Sardis. Again, it's a town we do not want to exterminate. And we have ambushed German war dogs. Now, this is interesting. We could cause them to go to... You know what, let's, let's go to war with the Germans. Let's pull the other Roman families into war with Germania, who is a quite a big faction, and Germans are pretty powerful. Uh, so that'll give our allies some challenge. And that'll give our Julii some challenge, because uh, they'll have to fight northward, and maybe the Spanish can backdoor them and take some of their settlements and make it easier for us later. But uh, we don't want the Spanish to become too powerful, I suppose, because we will have to fight them eventually. Unless the Julii take them out while we're over here in Pontus land. Uh, anyway, we're going to put two units over here and the other two over here. We really don't have a chance against this many war dogs, but uh, might as well fight just kind of for a little lulzy battle. And uh, it'll serve as an agent uh, to, uh, you know, distract our other Roman neighbors. And oh my gosh, look at all those war dogs versus our infantry. Sandmite's given up immediately, I understand. And uh, we got our cavalry and our barbarian mercenaries fighting their, uh, their war dog handlers. We have a shot. If we take down the handlers, we actually will win. Okay, okay, route, route, route. If they route, we win. If they route, we win. If they route, we win. If they route, oh, come on, come on, route. Oh no, don't, don't say you have a chance. No, they're shaking. Come on, we had a shot there. We had a shot. They were wavering. We had a shot, and we could have won that. That would have been amazing. Because it doesn't matter how many war dogs. If the handlers route, it's game over. And uh, definitely losing quite a few men. To these war dogs. Although our Hastati are doing pretty good. General just got taken down, so that's probably going to be the end. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Hastati getting taken down pretty easily. And uh, Samnites came back from routing. Not sure that's going to help at all. But uh, we'll try to have them take down the handlers, perhaps. And, uh, oh, maybe killed one. And they retreated. And uh, our army's probably going to disband, I would imagine, because, you know, there's not too many of them left. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. Then we don't really have to worry about being up there. <laughs> They're still alive? Our army's still alive? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> well, I guess we get to annoy the people up there even more. And as you can see, Germania has gone to war with the Brutii and House of Julia. Or, no, they've broken their alliances. Those changes are going to go to war next turn. Uh, so that's that's one way to break off alliances. Our spy by Mazaga has died of old age. That's unfortunate. 
this guy came of age. He is a very good manager. Uh, do we need another man? Uh, he could be the student of Publius. That's what he'll do. Appius Scipio will be the student of Publius. And uh, anything else really going? Placus Pertinax gained two command that turn. Very cool. Kydonia is going to build a Practice Range. And Exchange is going to build a Forum. And increase their tax rate because we can. And Pergamum is going to go ahead and uh, build some mines, maybe? Uh, let's check. We're still recruiting. Yeah, we can build some mines. Get some more income coming out of Pergamum. Pergamum can be a cash cow settlement, for sure. And we now control the southwest of uh, Asia Minor. And, uh, yeah, he has a per mercenary captain plus two commands, so he's pretty good. We're going to move him into this army. And uh, we're going to merge some of these more advanced troops, send them out into the army. And... Uh, Merge some of these mercenaries as well. We'll send these guys out to go garrison. We'll send them to go retrain a Pergamon. And then they can perhaps can join uh, some of our other troops. And uh, we'll send these full strength units over to Placus here. Oop, too many. Oh, we can only take two. Well, I'd rather have the archers than anything else. So we'll send Placus out with this army, this force here. And uh, perhaps go take Mazaka or Sinope. Not too sure. Uh, we'll see what we'll do with him. What we do with him, eh? Yeah, we'll do what we do with him. And those guys are going to get retrained. Join uh, Cornelius Scarvor. And uh, we'll send these spies over. And our extra assassin to go deal with stuff. Uh, we'll pre uh, once these assassins are killed off and these spies are killed off, uh, we probably won't be training too many more agents, I would imagine. And uh, missed the target, of course. We had like 2% chance. I was... Try to be funny. And it says slayed by bodyguards, of course. Why not? And we'll go... Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll station our guy here, and when we take Nicomedia in three turns, uh, we'll just ferry Cornelius over to attack Sinope. That would probably work the best, I would think. And, then, yeah, that'll give our guys ample time to retrain and get up there as well. So that would be cool. And like I said, the Germans are now at war, will be at war with the Romans after this turn. So that'll be interesting development. Looks like the Julia are already on their border anyway. And actually, it looks like they might be moving out against the Spanish as well. Interesting. And uh, we'll move this guy down. And going to combine with plenty of our troops here. And move out against the Carthaginians. Finish off the last Carthaginians. And then perhaps move eastward into the desert. And take out the rest of the Numidians. Well, uh, I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We'll see what happens. Uh... Build some more troops up in Carthage and Thapsus, because why not? Might as well have some strong garrison in the desert, just in case something bad happens, you know. Some irrigation troops. Some irrigation troops never hurt. And uh, we'll save it, and I think everything's pretty good. So we'll end the turn. Actually, we should move these ships first. And, uh, yeah. We need to take another drink. Again, it's very hot today, so I'm sorry about all the drinks. We got a family member over in Salamis. The Egyptians do. Oh, with lots of Numidian spearmen. Or Nubian spearmen, not Numidian. There's a difference. There's a big difference. And, uh... Looks like Sinope doesn't have much garrison, so we should be able to snipe it. A sn snipe? I don't know. That pun doesn't really work. Anyway, trade rights and map information with Armenia. Looks like they have four territories. Uh, that's fine. Go over and talk to Parthia, see if we can update our info. And uh, definitely the Egyptians probably only have about half of those homes. As you can see, they've lost all these. And uh, they still have these down here, so that's good. It's good that they have these these three settlements down here. Yeah, if they can hold on to those while we're fighting Pontus, I'll, I'll say that they have a good chance of survival. And uh, that'll, that'll keep Pontus from really gaining too much power. So we need, to, we need, we need Egypt to hold out there. That'll be the best for us. And uh, we're going to send pl Plakash this way. It looks like they're retreating, actually. I'm not sure what... Actually, you know what? I have a plan here. I'm going to be a little sneaky. You saw where I was moving. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing. I have a plan. I have a plan. <laughs> Checking out the garrisons of these settlements here. Army barracks there. Very nice. Uh, of course, they can't build anything more than army barracks. 
And look at all those. Uh, House of Brudia and Julia have broken their alliances with Spain. Interesting. And they've gone to war with Germania. Perhaps, I guess, I guess Spain and Germania maybe had an alliance. And now they're going to turn against the Romans. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. And now we've built a couple governor palaces and stuff. So very cool. We're going to build military in Sparta. Again, Sparta is going to be our late game military headquarters uh, for when we uh, do stuff in places. I'm not getting, going to get into that now again because uh, spoil stuff for people that haven't ever watched is a <coughs> LP of the Romans. So continue to build stuff with our decreased construction time now. Very nice. And uh, yeah. Actually, I, I forgot to go over one of the wonders um, that we just took uh, at uh, Sardis. We actually had took a wonder there as well. The, uh, what is it? I don't remember. It's the Temple of something, but uh, it, it reduces the cost of uh, religious buildings by like 50% or something. So, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't go over that. There it is right there, as you can see. Uh, anyway, it looks like the Brutii are finally attacking the Macedonians, so that'll be nice. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the Macedonians attacking us. They're fighting the Brutii pretty heavily now. And uh, perhaps the Brutii will move out. The Julii have done good for themselves. They've taken plenty of territory, but not as much as us, of course. Especially with these new additions. Uh, so, they'll have to catch up. And uh, we're going to move our navy down here. Uh, so we can quickly transfer this guy. I forget his name. Once we take out the Carthaginians, once we should be able to take out the Carthaginians, I'm not, can't say for 100% certainty that we will be able to. And I did forget to retrain those guys. I'm an idiot. Uh, Admiral Rupta is fighting our navy there, and we were victorious somehow. And there's a big, large Pontic army. Big, large. A big, large Pontic army is coming up. And this guy is pretty good for 16. So let's take him. And okay, I'm trying to do my own thing here. Uh. I guess, oh, they did take Larissa. So the Brutii have taken Larissa. It looks like they're moving on Thessalonica. Uh, so it looks like the Brutii are doing some work here. Good job, guys. And Lilybaum has grown into a large city, so very nice. Uh, we'll be able to upgrade that. Popularity falls with the masses, that's unfortunate. But what are you going to do? Carlos, form has been constructed. Uh, we can go ahead and build some better walls just in case something happens. Uh... Might as well. You know, walls, are, walls add happiness in my version too, so that was a good idea. Uh, over in Thapsus, we can go ahead and build... Ooh, I guess we'll build some farms, because they're kind of low in population as well. I've been training out of there pretty exclusively. And uh, Surda can go build some better roads, because they, they have quite a big distance between other regions, so roads are very helpful. And we'll continue to train some garrison there. Uh, looks like the plague isn't coming back, which is very nice. And uh, we'll retrain the units here and build better mines in Pergamum. We can also build unit legionary cohorts uh, for some moving out. And uh, Nick Media has one turn left, and then we'll we'll kind of wait for those reinforcements to come up, and we'll go over and attack Sinope, I believe is going to be our goal. Lots of recruitment done this turn. Uh, we're building lots of legions. We're moving out on lots of fronts, uh, just like the Brutii are now doing. They've taken Larissa, like I said. So they're expanding rapidly. All these settlements are very good for them. Uh, they probably won't expand into Thrace, however, because Thrace is their ally. So we'll probably have to attack Thrace at some point as well. But we'll see. And two turns, we can go fight him. I'm not sure why the movement's so slow. There's a road there. Uh, but whatever. Everything else is looking pretty good. No siege on Batavium. I'll go assist uh, the Julia. I have to go siege Batavium. Definitely, I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that adventure. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. And it looks like the Julia are moving against Trier. But uh, that's all we're going to do today, guys. So thanks for watching the episode of Rome's War Skippy Eye. And uh, before we go, let me check the Senate real quick. I haven't checked for uh, financial. We're doing pretty good. Uh, diplomacy doing good. Uh, let's check. Senate missions, not going to take that. So Nika. And look at that. We got eight popularity with the Senate, five with the people. That is not bad. We're in a good position. We're better than the other factions and everything. So, okay. Brendan Lord signing out. Peace.